Hey, 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 beautiful Sagittarius. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back, of course. Um, you know how much I love and adore you. Sag, I hope you're doing really well. Um, this is going to be a general reading. I really felt called. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have you know, enough time because it is Christmas. I do celebrate Christmas. Um, but you know what? It has all worked out and I've been guided to do a reading for you. Now, it can be timeless, of course, um, but for my intention with my guides, um, obviously their help, um, I'm setting the date as the 27th, 22nd of December to the 26th of December. Um, that's Boxing Day. Now, so that's about five days. I really felt called because, you know, not everyone celebrates Christmas or, you know, Hanukkah or, and the other festivals around the world that are being celebrated at this time. But <clears throat> um, for a lot, this is a time of gathering, um, usually. Now, also, it can be a time of being on your own, right? Being away from your family or away from friends. Um, and it can be a little bit more of a lonelier time as well. So I really felt called with my guides to do this reading for you. Um, again, it can be timeless, but obviously if you come to it around the 22nd, there might be some deep insight in it for you from my guides. All right, so Sag, um, oh, all of a sudden I just want to take a nice deep breath. So maybe take one with me or I'm going to just do it right here. It's been a year, Sag. It has been a year. We are now in Capricorn season, so we'll see what that's going to be bringing, right? Capricorn is our earth element. Um, you know, Capricorn represents more of the solidness. They are pretty grounded. They really kind of are, you know, if you, even if you think about Virgo, um, they kind of do things by the rules, by setting um, lists, etc., etc. I always find Capricorn a little bit more serious, right? Um, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's always a time for seriousness to come in. So we'll see what's going to go on here. All right, so Sag, <clears throat> without further ado, we're going to get into this. If you're wanting a private reading for myself, I will be accepting um, readings or emails probably around January 2nd, right? I'm just going to give myself a little break to hang out with my family and kind of sleep in a little bit or, you know, try to anyways. <clears throat> okay, wild. As soon as I start doing your reading, my throat chakra is already activated. So, um, and this has been happening a lot lately for me. I'm not sure what's going on, if it's going to be something that you're going through this weekend that might be causing you to um, not be able to find the right words, maybe feeling like you cannot get the right words out. We are still in Mercury retrograde, so that could be part of it as well. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But there is this feeling that I'm getting in my third chakra right here, um, throat chakra, that is just feeling all of a sudden a little bit restricted. Okay, so I'm going to have a sip of water and then we're going to get into it. I am going to open up with my secret language of color. <clears throat> For those of you that are, um, you know, at this time of year feeling a little exhausted, feeling a little bit burnt out, this can be very helpful because it is color and color has its own frequency, its own vibration. So you can take this color and apply it to your situation. You can meditate on it if you're into that. Um, it all depends on where and how you flow. Okay, so let's get started. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius. From the 22nd of December to the Boxing Day, the 26th of um, December, I almost said July, but it is Cancer Full Moon on the 26th as well. I'm gonna try and do a reading for that because I'm really interested to see how that energy is gonna play with Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> but we'll see how that all goes. All right, we have Burgundy. Awaken your passion on the bottom. Well, this is cute. It's bottle of wine. Um, it's number 10, Sag, so the magician energy coming through here. Burgundy is all about what is your passion. Maybe this could even just be indicating whenever you come to this reading this weekend that there may you might just be taking some time down, having a nice glass of wine, whatever it is that you like, um, and just really relaxing. A moment to kind of let go of you know, work, obligations, all that kind of stuff, and just allow yourself to, to treat yourself, really, to give yourself a gift during this holiday season. We'll see. Um, followed by Lilac, which is strengthen your faith. That is 42, so it is a six. There may be something happening around this weekend that you're really needing to rely on not only your beautiful inner guidance system, but also whatever you believe in, right? Angels, guides, God, source, whatever that may be. <laughs> they want me to go one more. Okay. <clears throat> Scarlet attracts success. Number seven. Seven is really that lucky number. Let me show it to you. Perhaps some of you are going to, over this weekend or this holiday season, you're going to come into something that is really successful. Maybe something is going to be offered to you. I do have this feeling of like, kind of like a gift coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me while I blow my nose here. <laughs> All right. 
obviously gifts because it's Christmas. I know that. That's very obvious. I'm not meaning that, though. I'm meaning something a little bit more substantial. So, we'll see. Let's start. All right, Spirit, thank you so much and God in this, God in me in this reading for Sagittarius. What color is going to be beneficial for those Saggies that this is their reading? Can you show me clearly, please? December 22nd through to the 26th of December. Mm, a little itch. Okay. Show me clearly for Sagittarius. One color, please. Thank you. We have Amber. Awaken your creativity. Ooh, this kind of goes along with the passion card at the beginning. So it's number 15, Sag. That is at six. Sixes are that equal give and take, that equal balance. Things harmonizing for you. Um, beautiful. This does remind me, of obviously, of you. It does have that fiery vibe to it. So awakening yourself in creativity, awakening what is what matters to you. And if you're a person right now that is lucky and fortunate to have a couple of days off over this time, you know, maybe even a little bit longer, ooh, that would be so good for you to really get away from the hustle and bustle. Yes, I know that there's, you know, getting gatherings on the 25th, etc. But even after that, to just take a step back for yourself and awaken yourself up. What do you love to do? What don't you have time to do? You know, what would you like to do? What hobbies? What inspires you? Do that. Because when I was prepping this deck, um, the, the card that came out, and it was watermelon, which if I remember correctly, it is like, um, what was it? It's like, engage with your inner child. I think that's what the card is. Let me take a moment. We'll see if I can find it quickly. Because all of a sudden that feels really important. It did feel important when I seen it. Mm. Where are you, watermelon? Give me a sec, because I do want to just get it correctly here. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. There it is. Uh, watermelon, it's number three. Have fun with your inner child. So, Sag, let's see if I can, I'll just show it to you quickly. Again, this is a time, hopefully, where you can take a moment to relax, to take the pressure of the world off of your shoulders, to be able to be in the present moment. Um, whether you are celebrating, whether you're not celebrating, like I said, not everyone does, right? Not everyone has someone to celebrate with. And if that is your situation, this would be a beautiful time to put yourself first. And like I said, give yourself the gift of making time for yourself, for your passions, for you, to have a little bit lighter time. Because on the bottom we have lavender. And lavender, while I have that in my garden, I love lavender, it's such a healing, beautiful, peaceful, herb connect to body mind and soul number 44 44 adds up to an eight eight for me is about your life path for you that you are on but four is represent the foundation the solid foundation so <clears throat> again this feels like a time and I know it's not going to be able to be for everyone because I'm sure a lot of you are like having company and having friends and um, cooking up a storm and cleaning your house and doing all that stuff so there's a lot of a lot of pressure Good pressure, hopefully, but it's still pressure, right? If you can, squeeze some of this time for yourself. Because lavender is that healing herb, as I said. Um, and it also is a really beautiful herb that helps you sleep, too. It's very peaceful and calming. So perhaps that is something to keep in your back pocket over this time so that you can relax and, um, again, keep connected to yourself, okay? All right, so, so amber and lavender. All right, let's continue. Um, where would you like me to go, Spirit? I think we're... We're going to go into the good tarot. Okay, haven't used this for a while. All right, let's see. We have Messenger on Earth, which is the Knight of Earth. The Knight of Earth is... Uh, do you get, there's, a vi there's a theme, there's a vibe coming through here at this moment about slowing down, slowing down and really being able to just be in that present moment, Sag. So, Knight of Earth is that slowest knight in the deck, right? Knights are the movers and the shakers of the tarot. And the um, Knight of Pentacles, that's the one that goes really, really slow, takes their time to get to the finish line. There's no rush. There's no panic. It's just nice and slow and steady. So, that being on the bottom is a pretty powerful message coming through. Again, going along here about, <coughs> you know, 
not getting lost in this time frame not allowing too many pressures to be put on your shoulders if that can be possible it's all about the two of fire so this is this is a contemplative energy coming up right two of fire two of wands which way do you want to go how do you want to move forward how do you want to approach something and it's followed by the magician mm. okay so the magician what is it that you want you can have you can achieve sag okay all right let me get my water just put it over here so it's closer to me Hopefully I won't spill it. All right, Spirit, show me what you would like Sagittarius to know for this time period of December. What would you like them to know? What can you advise them on? What is happening for Sagittarius? Oh, that one wanted to come up, but it didn't. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we got a couple here. We got the Knight, or sorry, the King of Swords. And we have the Queen of Water. Wow. King and Queen. And then on the bottom side, we have the King of Earth. A lot of people showing up here in this reading. Okay. I'm feeling like there are people. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm feeling. So the King of Air, right? That is our, our communication. It's the words we speak to ourselves, to other others. It's everything that goes on in our mind. King of Air is someone that is more... Definitely more icier, not as warm. Think of a judge, um, an attorney, you know, someone that is quite reserved, especially emotionally. And we're, and we're gonna, I'm gonna get clarifiers and stuff. So the fact that he has come up, but with the Queen of Water, which is Cancer's card, um, Air is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Coming up with the Queen of Water, and we'll talk about that, that's Cancer, that's completely different energy here. Um, so he is like, assessing things I feel really um, somber quite analytical you can just tell look at those look at the glasses on on his face right very eagle like energy coming through here okay so that might be representing someone that is around you or might be representing an energy that spirit is guiding you to kind of step into over this time period then we have the queen of water as I said <coughs> cancer could be Pisces or Scorpio it's more of a cancer card this is the queen that is all about love, um, home, family, protecting that family, protecting that heart, being emotionally available. Um, it's interesting because these are such complete different energies, and but yet they're both blue. But look at how the queen of cups has her, she has her head turned against, to the back, right? She's showing her back to the king of swords. And then we have the king of earth on the bottom. Pentacles. This is our stable king, right? The one that has the finances, the one that has that um, really great advice, softer, because he represents the earth element, Mother Gaia. Um, very grounding energy on the bottom. Right now I'm feeling like, are these two, two people in your lives that are, oh. are going to be around you? Oh, there's my doggy. The one that she's, she's losing so much, she's shedding right now, which does not help my allergies whatsoever. Um, but I don't know, just strange weather, strange year. Normally she doesn't shed during the winter. Anyways, King of Earth. So this is on the bottom. I'm wondering if this is advice that's coming towards you, guidance. I'm gonna need more spirit for sure, but let me show you the card. Beautiful, beautiful nurturing energy I'm getting through here. And then we have the five of air, which sounds like, or what sounds like, which is, you know, competition, arguing, um, critical words uh, can be quite, quite hard. So let's see what's going on. I feel like, yeah, they want me to put that back. Let's get one more card out of this and then we can get some clarifiers. This could also be indicating here that you're going to need to be more or to really tap into that, you know, sharper part of you, Sag, where you don't give all your emotion away to others, where you are keeping it for yourself and your loved ones. Can we get one more card, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius? Ooh, okay. Nope, too many. Let's keep going. Can we get one more card, please? King of Air to the Queen of Water. Oh, got one. Okay. The Nine of Earth. 
<clears throat> this is like beautiful energy. Nine of Pentacles. This is independence. Money, solidness, solid foundation. Let's see what's on the bottom. <clears throat> and justice. Okay. Sag, also the king of air. You might actually be in some kind of legality um, here at this time. I don't know how that works around Christmas. Um, but there may be something coming through here that you're receiving word that um, everything is sided, on, sided for you. Because we have the Justice card on the bottom, Libra's card, and the King of Air could be representing some, some kind of powerful position that someone you're getting word from that then allows you to have peace of mind. Because if you look at this, this card, I think it's really beautiful. If you look at this Queen of Water, <clears throat> look at how peaceful how peaceful her face is her eyes are closed she's completely relaxed she's in flow right she's not stressed she's in complete flow and then with the nine of earth next it feels like this could be a very successful outcome whatever the outcome might be for you justice card on the bottom libra's card as i said it feels like whatever this may be it is allowing you then to be able to pursue your dreams your passions and allow you to do this on your own, if that makes sense. I mean, the nine of earth can even represent money coming in. So perhaps if this is about some kind of a lawsuit or some kind of um, um, inheritance, I'll say, I mean, the ten of, the 10 of pentacles would have to come up for that, but it feels like it is balancing for you. It's working out in your, in your corner. Okay. I'm going to put this deck back. I want to go into, um, I'm going to go into my animal deck and see what this is about. Let's get some clarifiers. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, the world is on the bottom side. So I do feel like something is wrapping up for you here. And again, I, I think it's connected with that. Everything that I was saying at the beginning that Spirit was saying about taking that time up for you, connecting your body to connecting to your body, to your mind, to your soul, um, awakening that creativity. But what does creativity mean? It is our passions, right? Yes, it can be hobbies and painting and building and all of that. Yeah, yeah, of course it can. But creativity also is like what lights you up? What is, what allows you to feel excited in your life? What brings you, you know, that beautiful joy? Um, and I feel like something here has been holding that back. Could be just, you know, nose to the grind, working your ass off. Could be. Um, but it feels like this is transitional over this next four or five, six days. Um, that something is closing out with that world, Major Arcana here, closing out. But beginning as well. Because, you know, the world is number 21. And that does add up to a three. So threes, again, your body, your mind, your soul, all coming together into alignment. Followed by the three of cups, which is celebration, happiness, joy. And I mean, this and this would be the time to be able to celebrate, right? And then you even have the Ten of Swords. So I do feel like something heavier is wrapping up for you over this time period. And even followed by the Hangman. So, you know, this is a change of perspective. <clears throat> hmm, okay. But that world showing up here on the bottom of the deck. Something must be coming to close here for you. Perhaps you're the one that is closing it and becoming independent and having more time to do the things that are, are close to your heart. All right, Spirit, thank you so much. Show me why the King of Air is here. Why is the King of Air here? King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Four Sagittarius. Okay, thank you. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's clarity that is needed. There is um, definitely seeing things from a bird's eye view here. That eagle, again, they're giving to me. Because there's a two of wands here. There's some kind of confusion. There's a choice that's needed to be made. But unable to make it. And even with the seven of cups on the bottom, which is confusion feeling like to me. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This can be a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. But it, it can also represent that energy of like, I don't know what to do. I, there's so many. Th should I go left? Should I go right? Should I go forward? Should I go back? To the, should I go to the side? needing some clarity so this is either you getting assistance from someone that would be like the king of air or you are being guided to use that analytical part um, of you 
to make the choice. Two of Wands, contemplation. I want to go one more. Show me, show me why the Two of Wands is here, please, Spirit. What is this indecision? What is this contemplation? The Six of um, Wands. Wow, okay, beautiful. The butterfly. Butterflies represent transformation for me, Sag. So this, what are you contemplating? Separating? Because Six of Wands is victory. It is um, after the battle, rising up. Right? Five of Wands before that is the arguing, the drama, the fighting. Six of Wands is victory. But I'm also getting the sense of being free. Especially with that butterfly. Being free from whatever you might have been stuck in. That what might have been keeping your passions and your creativity at bay. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. A new beginning in the heart. A new beginning in love, in your emotions even. Okay, let's continue. Show me why the Queen of Cup Water is here, please, for Sagittarius spirit. Okay, that didn't come out. What was it? Four of Pentacles. If it didn't come out, Four of Pentacles would be feeling stuck. Um, feeling like where you're at was is not enough. Okay, Mother of Wands, wow. So Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands clarifying the Queen of, of Water, of Cups. You know, this is a feminine side of your sign, Sag. Mother of Wands is that beautiful energy of magic, of creativity, of really going after and doing what lights you up. Very much connected to this amber color. Clarifying the Queen of Water, which I'm actually really getting this quite strongly, that um, it's about protecting you. Now, you may have water um, cancer sign in your chart. It doesn't have to be. But there is this energy of, um, especially see how the snake is protecting her, the eggs, her eggs. There's something here about protecting, protecting you, protecting your emotions, protecting what is yours. I like these, these two energies together. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician once again. Just reminding you of how much power you have, how much ability you have to manifest, Sag. Followed by the high priestess, so trusting your intuition on how it's guiding you. Okay, got the Emperor left and on the bottom and the Six of Cups. Taking control of something from your past or your past. And this doesn't have to be romantic either, right? Like, I mean, we have so many different kinds of relationships. Um, again, what is the, like, I'm not giving it specifically to me. Um, okay, let's see. Um, can you give me more on the, uh, on the um, Queen of Wands, please? Give me more, please. Queen of Wands, protecting what is yours, protecting your passion, your your sense of who you are, how you live your life, how you move through the your your days. Show me more, please. Queen of Water, Queen of, of Wands. Okay, those two wanted to come out. My nose is so itchy right now, Sag. What the heck? Strength and the Fool. Okay. And we got the Magician once again on the bottom. So... I'm feeling that there's a tug of war here, Sag. There's a tug of war between your heart and your head. It's not the two of swords, but I'm getting this feeling. Um, and it's almost like, you know, our source is communication, right? So perhaps you're going to be speaking to someone over this weekend or until the 26th or whenever you come here that you're not quite sure how to handle it. But in the end of it, you're the victor. You're the victor. You, you win this conversation. And as we move here, it's like, but, and why? Well, because you're protecting your emotions. You might be protecting your family. Um, you are the queen of water with the queen of wands. Masculine and feminine doesn't matter. We all have both in us. When I ask for clarifying on that, it's like the strength card and the fool, two major arcanas. <clears throat> clarifying that strength card is Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo. The fool is a brand new beginning, a brand new start, a leap of faith, a new path that you are about to embark on. And we have the magician, as I said, again on the bottom. I think that's three times we've had it. You know, when the magician shows up, this is that energy because it comes after the fool. It's the fool, then it's the magician. It's like you are taking some kind of leap of faith. Maybe you're standing up to someone. Maybe you're putting your rules. You're putting your boundaries up. Um, I don't know what this may be, what exactly this is per se. But um, this does feel like no matter how difficult, whatever this may be for you, um, and again, they're, now they're giving me that wa the watermelon image in my mind again. 
What the heck is this about? <clears throat> what was that again? Awaken your inner child or play with your inner child? Does this have something to do with your family? Kind of getting that, Sag. Okay, so you're just going on a new path. Let's go with the Nine of Earth, which is an independent card. Nine of Earth, Nine of Cups. Yes, those are beautiful, beautiful cards. But like this is you being on your own, like on your own feet. Not, not necessarily alone, but like independent, not relying on anyone else. Why is the Nine of Earth here for Sagittarius? I didn't even get to flip. Because of the Six of Swords. Moving away from what was really hard. Moving away. From, and look at these, this, this magician right there again. Just keeps popping out. Um, moving towards better days. Moving towards what is more in alignment with you. Moving towards the rainbow. Maybe some of you are coming, some decision you're making is going to be bringing in a lot of financial stability. Let's show you this. Six of swords, right? Moving away from all those pointy, sharp, hard, painful swords to the rainbow. And then we have the Empress on the bottom, Taurus's card. Beautiful, another major arcana. Abundance. Nurturing yourself, loving yourself, loving those around you. But, you know, it is really a card of true, true abundance. Followed by the Six of Pentacles. I want to go one more here. The seven, Six of Swords and the Nine of Earth. Though this is where you're headed, Sagittarius. Over, over this, over this next four, five, six days. <clears throat> okay, they didn't fly out. What do we have? We have oh, the, the, okay, Father of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Again, all that beautiful stability. But they didn't fly out, Sag. So I am going to keep going here. Show me more, please, Spirit. So the Nine of Earth. And the Six of Swords for the week, almost the week of December 22nd through to the 26th of December, 2023. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. The Death Card. Scorpio, the Death Card. Something is truly dying out here. There is a death. And then there's, there is a rebirth. So this is what's happening here. Over this weekend, this, and again, Sag, you know, this might take a little bit longer than just this, these next five, six days. At the same time, I do feel like you are, this is a big transformative time for you. The Harfant on the bottom, the Four of Wands next celebration. The Harfant is Taurus's card as well. Yes, it is that traditional card, but look at what this bird is sitting on. The key. You hold the key. You hold the key to freedom. You hold the key to this shift. And the Four of Wands is celebration. So let me break this down in a little bit of a maybe lighter um, energy. This weekend, perhaps you've decided, this, I keep saying this weekend, but you know, it is, it is Christmas. It is um, Boxing Day, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> it's the holidays. Perhaps this is going to be the season, and obviously this isn't going to be for everyone, but I'm using this almost as like a an example. Perhaps you're like, I'm so burnt out, I'm so tired, I, 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 I can't, I don't have anything left to give at this time. I need to give to myself. Perhaps you're aware of that. And so they're saying, then now you got to step into the king of air energy, because then you're going to have to, you're going to have to be firm perhaps with family and friends, et cetera, et cetera, that I can't, I can't do it all. I can't. I've, I'm contemplating. I'm trying to figure out how I can do it, but I can't. I need to, I need to be able to relax. I need to be able to be free to do what I need to do over this time because I am needing to fill up my bottle. I'm needing to fill up my bottle. I need to give my emotions to myself, to my, to my, whoever I, I want to. I'm protecting my, my energy. And yes, it's going to take strength and because, you know, who am I confronting? I might be confronting someone here and having to say no. But again, it leads you to the fool, to this new chapter, which then leads you to, oh, nine of earth, grounded, security, like safety, 
Uh, you get to move into the rainbow energy and then the death card comes in and it's like, oh, everything's transformed. It's transformative energy coming through here. And then the Hierophant, using that wisdom, knowing that you hold the key to being able to connect with your passions and your creativity and also at that same time, bring your beautiful mind, body and soul into connection. I hope that this is making sense for you, for you that if this is your reading. Um, it feels like a healing reading. Um, I feel like lately your readings have been kind of on this on this um, on this path. Um, I don't remember all of my readings, but there's this feeling I'm getting inside <clears throat> in my in my gut that feels like this is like almost like a story that's been being told. Um, like I feel like this is connecting to some other reading I've done to you, done for you recently. Um, and it's, it just feels like this is about you. Hmm. I think really like trusting and loving yourself enough to know what is meant for you and what is good for you and not making huge sacrifices at your expense. That's what this is feeling like, Sag. You know, the death card is a very important card in every cycle we go through. Scorpio's energy and you know it does represent that something has not been working for you so therefore it has to die out so a new beginning can happen let's I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stick with this deck I want to go a little bit more because this is a pretty strong reading and it is a you know not for everyone obviously depending on where you how you celebrate this time um, I just want to see what else wants to come out, okay? Let's just be fluid with this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. What else can you show me and tell me about Sagittarius' reading here? Okay, this one won't go in. Five of Cups. That represents sadness. Um, it is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It represents sadness, disappointment. Can represent being burnt out. Just, you know, being like, oh, exhausted. It's a horse too, Sag, so it does represent, you know, you're half man, half horse. You're the archer. So I do feel like this is an, this is something that spirit is coming through here, like the high priestess. Trusting your inner guidance system and what it's telling you to do here. And whatever the situation may be, this could be something that does occur over the next five, six days. Um, so if that is the case... Remember to stay in your grace and do what is good for you here. They wouldn't give you connected to body, mind, and soul, the lavender energy, if this wasn't about you and having, you know, the strength to rise above whatever might be coming towards you. See, that King of Swords could also be someone else, right? I'm reading for the collective here, so it's going to be different for each, each person. Show me more, please, Spirit. Or Sagittarius. Oh, wow. The Three of Swords. That didn't take long. Um, it came out in reverse, but I'm not taking reverses. So the Three of Swords. I feel like this is representing... And then you have the Page of Swords. There's communication coming in or happening, for sure. Page of Swords. You know, and the Three of Swords is that heartbreak can be that feeling of being betrayed came out in reverse and I wasn't going to take reversals <clears throat> so either way I'm going to explain it both ways this can be representing this conversation this this meeting whatever it is that comes in um, and it hurts a little bit more look take it in reverse because you know I, I didn't say it out loud when I hit record or record like um, I wasn't going to take reverses reversals but in reverse as it, and it landed right over here, that means that you're not so tied up in it anymore. Spirit, how would you like me to receive this? Give me a second, Sag. How would you like me to receive this card? In reverse. Okay, so you do want this in reverse. So you see the heartbreak is, is slowly ending. Um, you're not so tied to this anymore. Hmm. And the fact that it did fall on the Six of Wands means like you are okay with the outcome however this goes. What an interesting read. 
Is there anything else, Spirit? Anything else you would like Sagittarius to know over this time frame? Oh, geez, okay. We got the Mother of Pentacles on the bottom, Queen of Pentacles. So again, that is nurturing, loving. I mean, look, she's she's protecting her baby deer. Father of Swords once again with the Mother of Swords. Holy shit. So this is what they want you to know. Mother of Swords with the Father of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, she is a pretty tough cookie because she doesn't tolerate anyone's manipulation. She doesn't tolerate anyone's lies, anyone's bullshit. She sees it very clearly, just as the Father of Swords does. Just slight difference energy because the, between the masculine and the feminine. So I just feel like Spirit is saying, whatever this is over these next five, six days, if you're having some gathering, for example, and it's with someone that is not very kind to you or that picks at you or that takes advantage of you or assumes or whatever, I see, I swear this feels like a, a continuation, but okay, let me know in the comments if this is a continuation. Maybe a lot of you are going through this situation and so that's why Spirit keeps kind of bringing it up. But again, this is like, you know, if someone is trying to get your goat, rise above it. Don't allow them to take it. Just as a queen of water is, has her back turned towards the king of swords, like I'm protecting me. And looking over at the nine of earth, which is, again, you know, this is money, but it is, it is security, it's solidness, but it's independent. It is without having to rely on someone else. Mm -hmm. This is what it feels like. I, uh, I think this is very much advice. And if and if you're planning on maybe keeping yourself over this weekend, maybe someone's not going to like that. But Spirit is saying, do it anyways. You know, you have to be, you have to take care of yourself during this period in this time. We're about to enter a new, a new year. And um, I feel that it's really important to be as healthy in mind, body, and spirit as we can so that we're bringing in, you know, the positivity into this new year. Mercury retrograde ends on the 1st of January, which I think is really wild this year. Um, how appropriate. So you're moving away. And if you take nothing else from this reading, Sag, the message is you do you and you are moving away from whatever the pain, whatever the sadness, the disappointment is, whatever pain in the ass it might be. Um, and you're moving to much more calmer, solid grounds, which will allow you to have more time for you, awakening your passions, doing what you, because that, what that means is doing what you love to do for you. Hmm. Interesting reading. Um, seeing where they want me to go. Let me go into my moonology messages. Let's see what advice spirit could give you. <coughs> oh my gosh. We have... The past on the bottom. Dark moon. So the past, yes. This reading is connected to your past. Mm-hmm. All right. Spirit, show me what advice or guidance you can offer Sagittarius for those. This is their reading over this time period of December 22nd through to the 26th of December 2023, please. What piece of advice could help them? Okay, that's way too many. Ironically, we have transformation here, which goes along with the death card, but it didn't come up. So let's continue. Whatever way this goes, it is meant to be Sag. Again, this could be you having company, right? This could have you, you having company, someone from your past coming back into your life at this time. Um, there's many different scenarios that this could be talking about. But ultimately, the message is you're going to choose wisely and you're going to stand up for yourself <clears throat> and you're going to let a transformation happen. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. What is the piece of advice for Sagittarius? Okay. Oh, we have yin moon, which is the feminine side um, of us, which is accept help. So if there's people around you that are supporting you, maybe there's, this is a big decision you're needing to make um, of, you know, following your heart and your passion, your your desires, and maybe having to, I don't know, 
you know, I'm not, I don't get the feeling of like cutting someone out, out, but I feel like, you know, it might be uncomfortable for the other person, maybe even for you. Spirit is saying, accept help. If there's others around you that are supporting you through this process, accept the help. Okay, it could be family, it could be friends. And we have on the bottom, howl at the moon, process your feelings. So that's exactly, this is the reading. It's saying, it is saying, process your feelings, deal with your feelings, stand up for what you want. What is your truth, Sag, over this time period, okay? So howl at the moon. Maybe go out and howl at the moon because it's getting bigger and bigger every single day. We're getting closer to that full moon. Um, but know that you are protected. Okay, that card came out the other day too. I'm pretty sure, ring around the moon. You are being protected. All right, spirit, beautiful message here. Let's close this reading off. Sag, I do hope that this helps. Uh, again, you know, we got to realize, like, uh, well, I got to realize this. It is t the season where family and everyone gets together. Um, and it can be pretty freaking tough, you know? It can. You can love them, but it can be also very, very tough. And I feel like that's what, that's basically the advice of this reading um, is know that uh, know that you're going to make it through now for some of you this is going to be a very transformative time where when you, when we get to the 27th of, of December things may look completely different from where you're at but again I feel it's going to be for the benefit of you we did have that justice card come out so let's close your reading out let's get a beautiful pearls of wisdom and see what the final message is we have new learning on the bottom. There's that full moon up there, and it's wolf. You know, the lone wolf, right? No, nope, the lone wolf doesn't go always with the pack, right? That's why it's the lone wolf. So some of you probably feel that way. And this might be the time where you have to stand in that integrity of like, I don't mind being the lone wolf if it means I'm doing what I need to do for myself. Okay, so it says the wolf teaches you to know who you are. Facing your fears is one of the greatest learning experiences and shows us how to change and grow. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What is a final message? Do we have one for Sagittarius? For those that this is their reading. You know, I have people in my life that are in situations similar like this. And so I know firsthand, and maybe that's why they accept help, because I'm, I'm supporting them with this decision of, you know, do I stand up to this or do I keep taking it? You know, do I stand up to this or do I keep taking it? But uh, they've gotten to a point where, you know, one of them has been like, I can't, I can't tolerate it anymore. I cannot do this anymore because there's a saying of like, once, once your eyes see something, you can't go back to unseeing it. And that is what I feel is happening here. Um, so I completely comprehend and have great, great empathy for this situation where I stop. We have new learning again. All right, Spirit. One final beautiful piece of advice for Sag, and then I'm going to let you go. I hope you have the most beautiful, beautiful holiday season. It didn't come out, but let's just take it. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> I hope you have the most beautiful holiday season. I hope you're able to get lots of rest. I hope you're able to have joy and happiness be in the present moment. I hope no one tries to steal that thunder to take away your joy. Um, yeah, that's what I wish for you. We have ability and success. You are being directed and what you see as a struggle is fading away. Opportunities are opening up in a number, number of directions. So I am successful is the affirmation. And you will be successful. I know that we've got the six of wands here. I mean, beautiful cards coming in to confirm that for me. And on the bottom side, we have new ideas. And that's this is basically how it feels. This is a maybe not a new idea, but I think you're about to put it into action. Um, you have a new path to travel, which is access through lighter and more positive thoughts. Change the thought and see what happens. Okay, so both cards, very fitting for this reading. Even Tranquility, we have Tranquility next because that does feel like these cards as well as that um, Burgundy that came out at the very beginning. I remember that because I drink red wine. I enjoy a glass of red wine. So I do remember that card. Um, tranquility. Find a tranquil setting and enjoy the quiet. Answers come more easily when the mind is empty of thoughts. You will feel freer when you let go of fears of not achieving. Okay, Sag. So that is your Christmas, I'm going to call it Christmas, Christmas wish. Or wish, yes, maybe it is a wish. 
um, your Christmas reading Sagittarius. Uh, I do truly hope that this helped you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, you know, this may be a really big time. And if you sense it, your intuition is telling you, listen to it. I think that this is going to be, I just heard the word revolutionary. So that's a pretty big word. I feel like you've come to the end of some path here where you really are not tolerating. And trust me when I say that, I don't mean you're being an asshole or anything like that. I mean, I feel like you just, you guys have come to this place and I can totally relate to that as well, right? I'm a Sagittarius rising. You're co you've come to this place and obviously we'll keep on growing and expanding, but where we just recognize that, you know, maybe this is the time for me to really like go, hey, I need to think about myself instead of everyone else all the time. It's not greedy. You know, the word selfish is literally selfless. So it, it self is, sorry, self is. It is about putting yourself first and you know, and I think that this is just a really important time, an important year, you know, very important year. year. Um, so I wish you nothing but the very best. Happy, well, I was going to say happy birthday, but we are in Capricorn season now. Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate whatever festivities you're celebrating. Make it a beautiful one. Enjoy it. I'll be thinking of you. I'll be sending you beautiful vibes throughout it all. Um, and... I guess we'll touch base back on that full moon in Cancer on the 26th, 27th, depending on where you're living, right? Um, so Sag, I'm going to leave that this reading here. Thank you, as always, my love, for your support, being so generous with your love back to me. I love you so very much, and um, I really, truly hope from the bottom of my heart as you go through this weekend or whenever you come to this reading that this reading from our guides has, is helping you and will guide you through whatever this may be. All right. All right, Saggy. So I'm sending the biggest, biggest hugs. I do hope you can feel it. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next week, hopefully. All right, Sag. Take wonderful care, babe. Take wonderful care.